Hello friends, today I'm showcasing this Lego design I came up with. This is a continuously variable transmission made with Lego chain. So I'll zoom in to show how it works. As you can see, this is the output of the chain. And this is the input motor. It drives this right here, it goes along here, and then this is where the action happens. Here is a close-up showcase of the business part of this machine. You can treat this whole system like one giant gear, with these being the outer edges of the gear. When it's driven by this black axle, it acts like a normal gear. Yay, here we go, I'm a gear, I'm a gear. And then, when it's driven by this light gray side, watch what happens. It extends and de-extends the external parts of the gear, thus increasing or decreasing the diameter. This is also very similar to how a chuck on a drill works, the thing that holds the drill bit in. So that is how the business part of this machine works. Right here in the middle we have the three gears that are driving the chain and the way it works is these arms are extendable when this motor with the red worm gear, when it drives it can extend these arms to make this section essentially larger. So in just a moment I'll show that in action. We have it hooked up to the infrared receiver and the Lego battery box. And we're controlling it with the Lego Speed Control Remote. So, here we have the red worm gear driving. This will tighten those arms and loosen them depending on which way you go. Making that center gear train bigger or smaller in diameter. So that's all the way out, roughly. And here it's going back in. Let's start up the gear train going. So as you can see, as this motor here turns, it turns the gear train like normal. You can adjust the speed. But we'll keep it slow for now. Now watch what happens is the red motor turns. The arms are going in, or actually going out, decreasing or increasing the diameter. It's a little bit jerky because it's the chain. Now they're going back in and out they go again and watch the speed variation here at the output. Here they are about halfway in halfway out so let's get them all the way to an extreme. Okay here they are halfway out this is about as wide as it can go Look how fast the thing's going. Now we'll stop the driving motor and make these go back in. Okay, now they're all the way in. You can see that as the gears increase the diameter of the driving area, the output will go faster, and as they decrease the diameter, it goes slower. Let's zoom in on that output to see the speed change. Watch as the speed increases. And this is about as fast as it will go. It's still a work in progress, just an idea for a possible chain driven continuously variable transmission. Anyway, thank you for watching that video. Please remember to like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. See you in the next video. Goodbye.